Hey guys, for you who doesn't know me yet, my name is Junica Mayer and a year and a half ago, I shared my student visa journey in Australia here on YouTube and on TikTok as well. You can follow me on TikTok because that's where I post most of my videos about my experiences and tips and stuff like this. And now, I'm an education agent of Pathway to Us, the very agency that helped me achieve my student visa in Australia for free. And as we're dealing with a lot of students, there's been a lot of questions about the visa changes for 2024. And I just want to clear things up based on how we advise on our students. So the step-by-step -step procedure. The first thing you are going to do is to collect your documents, your resume, diploma, passport, COR, or transcript of records from your previous study. So wherever you are in the world, these are the essential documents we're going to need from you. And if you are from Australia, if you're onshore, we're going to need your visa grant as well so there's a couple things that changed and the other requirement that we're gonna need from you is the GTE or Genuine Temporary Entrant Letter which is now GSR or Genuine Student Requirement. So they change it now to GSR and as per Nick, the migration agent of Pathway to Us, he didn't think that there's much changes there since all the questions that are written there are basically still the same. So these are what you're gonna be putting on your GTE or your now GSR which is details of your current circumstances including home ties or ties to family, community, employment, and economic circumstances, an explanation for the choice of course and reasons for choosing Australia as a study destination, what benefits the course provides to the applicant. For applicants with a study history in Australia, details of their study history, for applicants holding a visa other than student visa, their reasons for applying for a student visa, any other relevant information the applicant wishes to provide. In a GSR, they said that you can now say that you want to stay in Australia for good. But I think you can only say this if you are very confident that your career will benefit in the Australian industry. So if you're taking vet courses or courses that are not part of the occupation list of Australia, I I think it's just safer to say that you will go back to your country after your study and they also have changed the english requirement so from 5.5 it's now up to 6 with no bands lower than 5.5 so can't be lower than 6 the overall score this is for ielts and equivalent so the equivalent of that with pte so once you've accumulated your documents your resume diploma passport transcript of records this is where you're now gonna take your english exam or your ielts or pte so you gotta review before you take your ielts or your pte to help you you can join facebook groups like international students in australia or filipino students in australia they're sharing reviewers there join group chats of other people that have experienced this as well so you can be guided and you are now required to have a proof of funds it is Said that you can have a sponsor or you can demonstrate your financial capacity in one or two ways. Number one is by showing your parents or partner earn a certain amount. For ongoing income, it can only be from an applicant's parents or spouse if they are not coming to Australia. The income must be at least 63,000 AUD per year and can be evidenced by a tax return. So you can send out tax return as well. Number two is cash at bank or bank balance, loan statement, this can be anyone. Obviously, the closer the relationship to a family, the better. So the show money is around 30k AUD for a single applicant. So once you've accomplished your resume, diploma, passport, TOR, and then you've already scheduled your IELTS or PTE and you already got the result, you can send it to us as well. And you can also send the bank statement of you or your family member. It's also best if you can provide an affidavit of support and a proof of relationship with the person sponsoring your study. Once you've accomplished this, you can send these documents at Pathway to Us or you can simply just email it to me junica at pathwaytous.com and i will help you process your student visa application so when it comes to choosing courses it's actually best 
if you will take a higher education so for example you have a bachelor's degree in the philippines you now can take master's degree in australia which will also give you more benefit in the future if you're looking to get a pr so it's actually best if you have a postgraduate degree for your credentials later on especially if you've decided to stay in australia for good so if your highest educational attainment is high school or senior high no problem you can take bachelor's and if you a refresh graduate or you didn't have any work experience whatsoever and you just graduated from high school or senior high it's actually good for you because you can take whatever bachelor's you want you don't have to have a background on anything to take these courses but if you already have a work experience say from a call center or business or hospitality it's actually best if you take a higher education that's connected to this like for example you have a bachelor's of nursing it's best if you now take a master's of nursing the good thing about masters is that if ever you have a spouse they can work full-time and you can work 48 hours per fortnight and you can also work full-time on your term breaks and your holidays but if you took masters in research you and your spouse can work full-time so let's summarize all these so if you are from an assessment level 3 country like the philippines and fiji so here's what you gotta do to have a better chance of visa approval from what i've seen so far is if you take a higher education like bachelor's and masters and then you have a proof of funds english exam ielts 6 with no bands lower than 5.5 then you have a great home tie or you have a lot of proof that you're going back to your country after your study or you have a work or business opportunity waiting for you back home lands and properties and assets and all your families there that's great home ties so more home ties and a very good well put together gte or genuine student requirement the better so step-by-step -step procedure is that you collect all your documents your resume diploma tor passport and then you take your english exam then you contact us and send all these documents again you can send it on my email junica at pathway to us .com. then we're gonna find a great course suited well for you and your background it has to connect to your background for the immigration to see that you are actually in Australia to level up your study and to be the best version of yourself and to have a better career development so we gotta pick a course that's related to your background either it's study or work experience and then once we find the school for you we will send all these documents and we will now process your enrollment once we get your offer letter we will then pay your initial deposit and then the rest of your tuition fee can be a payment plan it's all gonna be written in your offer letter that's when we will get your coe or your certificate of enrollment which is very important for a student visa application once we get your coe our visa team will now assist you perfect your gte together you can provide them as much home ties as possible you will now pay your visa fee and your oshc or your overseas student health cover this usually costs around 50 australian dollar per month which in my case i paid 1200 for two years of my study and then your visa fee will be around 700 to 715 aud and once you pay this you and our visa team will now launch your student visa application you will now take your biometrics and your medical in your home country and then after these two you will now wait for your visa result so if you have say three year or more work experience in a field that is in the occupation list of australia right now you can go check the work visa requirements and if you think you have all those requirements then book a consultation with us at pathwaytous.com where our migration agents will help you and the consultation fees around 150 to 200 aud but they will help you through it all through your work visa processing but if you're not qualified for all these 
and you want to study in Australia, don't hesitate to contact Pathway to Us or just simply email me your documents, junica at pathwaytous.com. That's about it, guys. If you have more questions, comment down below and we will try to answer it as much as possible. I personally think Australia is a very great country and it's very diverse and I love just how you can be so free and there's work-life balance and all that stuff. So I think you gotta try to at least study in Australia once in your life. See you on my next one. Peace!